Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain frequency distributions. Let's consider height of the observations. Plant height observations. These are the observations. 30 centimeter, 20 centimeter, 50 centimeter, like that. Total 15 observations. First, I will take the observation 30 number number of times the observation 30 is repeated five times so this fifth 30 observation repeated five times i'll consider next observation 20 so 20 1 2 3 4 20 is repeated four times like that next 50 50 is only once in this set of observations 50 is only one time repeated. Next, consider 40. Observation 40 is repeated three times. Three times. Then number 10 is repeated only two times. So two times. So all the observations are exhausted here. We are counted. So totally five times, four times, one time, three times, two times. There's a these are the observation. This is number of times repeated, repetition of the those, that observation. So total 15 observations are there. So this matches to 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2. So total is 15. So these things are known as frequency of its observation. So observation is 30, its frequency is 5. Observation 20, its frequency is 4. Observation 50, its frequency is 1. So frequency. These are the number three is a frequency of 40. Number two is a frequency of 10. In this way, pre frequency means number of times a particular observation is repeated. So this is repetition. 50 is repeated only once. So frequency of 50 is one like that. Frequency means how frequently a variable occurs, which is always an integer the same example I have taken here from this we can have like this one table height height plant height so this is variable height is a variable so here I have taken in the order those observations so 30 20 50 40 10 that they have taken in the order for easy interpretation. Next, the 10 is repeated two times. This is the number of plants and it's called as frequency. So 10 is repeated two times, 20 is repeated four times, 30 is repeated five times, like that. So total frequency is 15. So obviously, there are 15 observations. This is observation, it's frequency four plants having height 20 centimeters. So from this, what we can have interpretations, four plants having height 20 centimeter, only one plant having height 50 centimeter, or five plants having height 30 centimeter. In this way, we can have the interpretation. This is a simpler method. We can simplify the data. This is known as discrete frequency distribution or group of data so we have made a groups now consider another type of example so this is a height so instead of observation we have taken class interval so same this is a frequency here also this is also another type of class interval and its frequency so here we have made a groups here this is also group of data this is first one is inclusive method Second one is exclusive method. There is a difference. Some differences is there. So for convenience, I have taken only <coughs> same frequency. Reality, it won't be like this. So classes. Classes mean these are the classes. 6 to 15 is a class. 16 to 25 is a class. Like here also, 5 to 15 is a class. These are all the classes. Lower limit. So here, this if we say this is a class, 6 is the lower limit. In this class, 46 to 55, so lower limit is 46. So here, in this exclusive method, 
5 is the lower limit, 25 is the lower limit, like in this way, you can have the lower limit. Upper limit, 15 is the upper limit for this class. Next, 35 is the upper limit for this class, like this. Here also, the 35 to 45, upper limit is 45, upper limit is 45. Width of the class interval. If we take the difference between upper limit and lower limit, this is known as width of the class interval. So 15 minus 6 is 15 minus 6 is equal to 9 is the width of the class interval. Here, if you take, if you if you know, if you want to know the width of the class interval, 15 minus 5 is 10 is the width of the class interval. So here, for all the cases, 10 is the width. Here, in all the case, 9 is the width. So, how to find the midpoint of these classes? To know the midpoint, we can have average of the upper limit and lower limit. So average of the low, upper limit and lower limit. So, here, 5 plus 15. So, this is a divided by 2. 5 plus 15 divided by 2 is 5 plus 15 is 20. 20 by 2 is 10. 10 is the midpoint for this class. Like this, for this, 45 plus 55. This total 100, 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 is the midpoint for this. In this way, we can have the things like this. Here, 6 plus 15 is 21. 21 divided by 2 is 10. 10.5 is the midpoint for this class. So for every classes, we can have different midpoints frequency of that class so 2 is the frequency of this class 5 is the frequency of 26 to 35 1 is the frequency of 46 to 55 like this in both the case in this inclusive method both the upper limit and lower limit are included in that class only see if any observation 6 6 and 15 both are included in this class here 26 and 35, both are included in this class. For example, a plant whose height is 35 centimeter would be included in the class 26 to 35. So if observation is 35, so we have to include here 26 to 35. There, there will be no confusion here. Coming to up inclusive method, lower limit is included and upper limit is excluded. See, phi is, is the lower limit. 15 is the upper limit. This included, 5 is included, 15 is excluded. Upper limit of any class and lower limit of the next class, next class or succeeding class or higher class are same. Here, upper limit of any class means 15 of this class and 15 for this next class both are same like this, 15 and 15, 25, 25. 35, 35, 45, 45. There will be a continuity is there in these classes. This is exclusive method. Upper limit of any class, lower limit of next class, 25, 25 is same. Here in this example, a plant whose height is 35 centimeter would be included in the class 35 to 45. This is important here. 35 if observation is 35 we should not include here in this group we should take in 35 to 45 group that's why here upper limit is excluded lower limit is included this both are comes under continuous frequency distribution before we discussed discrete frequency distribution now this is the continuous frequency distribution this also group data from the same example, same pre previously we have discuss, discussed the discrete frequency distribution and also continuous frequency distribution. So from this we can have cumulative frequency, cumulative frequency from the, both the frequency distribution we can have cumulative frequency. Cumulative means here is the sum of the frequencies of all the values or classes successively from the top or bottom of the distribution. So taking some of these frequencies from the top and from the bottom. For here also, from the top or bottom, 
this is cumulative so in the course you dis, you, you will be knowing cumulative grade point like cumulative means adding those frequencies here these observations i am um, uh, added from the top see two uh, first thing we have to write two then two plus four is six then six plus five is eleven eleven plus three is fourteen fourteen plus one is fifteen so finally you will get a total frequency value two plus four two first we have to write two then plus four is six six plus five is eleven 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. So from the top, so finally we should get this 15, this is equal to this total. This is known as less than cumulative frequency. Like this, for this continuous frequency distribution also, we can have the cumulatives like this. 2 plus 6 plus 2, 6, 11, 14, 15, we'll get same. So frequency is same, that's why we're in the same way. We have taken the sum of the frequency from the top. Same thing. So this is also known as less than cumulative frequency. Another type of cumulatives we can have. So from the bottom, from the bottom, sum of the frequencies from the bottom. Here we have to write first one as usual like this, as it is. Then one plus three is four. Four plus five is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15. So this is known as more than cumulative frequency. So this is for this continuous frequency distribution, we can have this cumulative, cumulative frequency like this. Same thing, we'll get same pattern. But in reality, this will be different. See, this is something from the bottom. Finally, we should, at last, we should get this value here, here, 15. So, so total is 15 observations. This is known as more than cumulative frequency. That's why here, cumulative frequency, here, summing of frequencies from the top, this is bottom. So that's why we have taken here, cumulative frequency is the sum of the frequencies of all the values or classes. For the, all the values or the classes here, for all the values and classes successively means immediately adding adding successively from the top or bottom of the distribution so this is from the top for this is more than is from the bottom from this cumulative frequency so we can have cumulative frequency distribution cumulative frequency distribution see this discrete frequency distribution we can have less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative for more than cumulative frequency. Then for continuous frequency distribution also, we can have less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency distribution. In short, uh, at last, I can try to explain brief in one slide. Frequency distribution, here we can have the raw data. Uh, this is ungrouped data. Huge data will be there, obviously. From the raw data, we can have the grouped data in by forming discrete frequency distribution if the data is discrete if the data is continuous we can have continuous frequency distribution so sometimes in the situation observations will be 10.5 9.8 in that case we can have continuous frequency distribution if the values are in integer we can have discrete frequency distribution in continuous frequency distribution there are two methods inclusive method exclusive method in exclusive method lower limit is included upper limit is excluded so here in inclusive both the limits are included from the both the distribution we can have the cumulative frequency distribution okay cumulative frequency distribution for discrete frequency distribution and cumulative frequency distribution for continuous frequency distribution so in this cumulative frequency distribution are two types less than and more than thank you